Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sword by using the extrude, move, and scale technique and uh, show you a little bit of mirror editing. So um, to start out with, you want to add a uh, mesh circle. And uh, let's go ahead and switch to the top view. Uh, once you've added the mesh circle, uh, go down to uh, vertices down here and let's change that to 8. This is actually going to be the uh, base of the uh, blade of the sword. So uh, let's zoom in a little bit here and press 5 so you can have uh, some extra grids in the background. It makes it a little bit easier if uh, you want to line things up right. Let's uh, press tab to go into edit mode. A to deselect everything. Uh, select the top vertice up here and uh, press G to move it. Do the same thing for the bottom vertice. Take it up closer to the top. And just start grabbing all the other vertices and moving them around. the middle here a little bit closer in. Alright, cool. Press A to deselect and press A to select everything again. Uh, switch to the front view and then zoom out a little bit. And uh, helps if you uh, move the background a little bit. And uh, press E to extrude. And you'll want to press Z so it extrudes in the Z direction. And just bring it up just like that. And that makes the uh, blade right there. Press S to scale it so we can have it get thinner near the top. And we're going to extrude the top once more. The Z direction, of course. And then press S to scale it and we're gonna scale it to a single point. If you look to the bottom left of uh, your window um, you'll see an X, Y, and Z value. By pressing control it'll help you uh, basically shrink it down to a single point and you'll see X, Y, and Z go to zero here. So that's how you do that. Then uh, go ahead and press W and uh, go to remove doubles. And it'll remove any extra vertices that you didn't need so your rendering uh, is a little bit easier a little bit nicer so um, you can go ahead and uh, zoom out here and you can go back to object mode and that's the blade right there so we can go ahead and move that to the side and we can start working on the handle of the sword so we're gonna add a UV sphere and uh, you can change the segments down to 16 just so the file's not as big. And um, we can switch to top view here. Once you switch to top view, we're going to scroll down and uh, switch to edit mode. Deselect everything. And. Um, we're going to select the first three circles right here uh, by going to the uh, edge select tool and just clicking one, two, three, pressing control E and selecting edge loop. Once you do that, press delete and delete the vertices. Go ahead and select uh, this first edge right here and control E, edge loop. Once you've got that, let's switch to front view. Let's zoom out a little bit so we can see it. And press E to extrude. And in the Z direction, of course. You can scale it. Just like that. Extrude it out again in the Z direction. And one more time. And scale it again. And you can switch back to object mode, and that is your handle. 
And now all we gotta do is make the hilt. So let's go ahead and add a cube. I'm gonna show you how to do it with mirror editing. We're still gonna be using extrude and scale, but with mirror editing, it'll be a little bit easier. If you go up here to the add modifier tool and add a mirror, you can now uh, select, um, no, well, first of all, let's switch to edit mode and select uh, face select mode right down here. Deselect everything and look a little bit to the right just so you can see the uh, right face over here. You can go back to the front view and press extrude. Just like that. You can scale it, extrude it. You can kind of get creative here. Don't really have to follow my example, just you know make your own design. Oh, and I also like to select this right here. It's optional, um, but just so you can see the other faces and vertices that are being made as you uh, do the mirror editing. Um, so, gonna add a couple of other things here. Same basic concept here, just select, extrude, move it, and scale it. Alright, and press apply so you can uh, apply the uh, mirror effect. Oh, I forgot, you also have to switch to object mode before you can actually do that. And then uh, press apply. Alright, and there you go. So you've got the uh, hilt, the handle, and the blade. Now we can actually put the pieces together. Um, it's a little bit easier if you uh, split the screen up a little bit here. And you switch one to the top view just to make sure everything lines up perfectly. And now you can uh, start putting pieces together. So grab the handle, stick it to the bottom of the hilt here and you can grab the blade and stick it to the top. Oh. Alright, so right now this uh, sword doesn't look very intimidating, so uh, let's fix that. Um, first of all, select the blade, uh, press scale, and press X, so we scale it out in the X direction. This will uh, broaden the sword here. Let me drag it down a little bit closer to the uh, to the hilt. Okay, and then you'll want to press S again and scale it in the Z direction. Make it a little bit taller here. All right, so now let's uh, let's check the uh, the right view just to make sure everything's lined up correctly here. Everything looks nice and straight. And now we can actually join the three objects together. So select the blade, or let's select the handle first. Then select the hilt and select the blade. And after you've done that, you can press uh, join right over here on the left panel. And once you've done that, it's all one piece and you've made yourself a sword. It's as simple as that. So really goes to show you how important it is uh, learning the extrude method. I mean, it can uh, get you pretty far basically.